Peace, love, and light. Thanks for clicking on and joining. I am Beyond the Spectrum, and I'm going to do an energy reading. I'm going to date it, but the energy is fluid. Today is September um, 9-4, I believe, 2020. Only because of events that are coming that I want to, you know, but time is an illusion. So I have a lot of decks out. <laughs> I've just been cleansing them. And um, honestly, I don't know where this reading's going to go, but I'm feeling, um, I started with re looking at my pictures I take of the sky and seeing what I see in them. And um, there's a lot going on supernaturally that's here. We have ancient energy here. We have ancient ones here. Um... Our souls are waking up. There's no coincidence we're being we're going through this grand awakening that Archangel Michael has spoke to me over and over about. And um, here it is, the grand flash, the grand solar flash. And what I just, you know, the feeling. So when I clicked on one of the pictures, I have this picture. It's a sky, but it's a man. It's clear as day. A man tall by a stack in the sky and looking right at me. And I felt this wave of energy shift when I realized what I was really looking at. And uh, with something shifting, we are shifting big time. Star seeds, okay? This is a message for star seeds out there. And anyone who resonates with this reading, okay? This, this is definitely star seed message from the archangels. You know, the galactic light. For our highest, most high good. So I picked a few decks out that I use um, to do that with. Let's clear these again. And I, I actually am um, learning with these Rainbow Warrior cards because we are Rainbow Warriors. There's Crystal Children here. Excuse me, there's Indigo Children. That's Rainbow Warriors. We're connected with the Angelic Realms. So I, I that's what I'm tapping into for a reading. Um, a portal, a gateway had opened. It might have just closed or one might open, have opened again because I did see that. I did witness that. And looking at what's in the sky, okay? Looking at what's in the sky, this is how they're showing me what to explain to you who, who will understand or am are awakening to realizing there's more here than what you thought, okay? <clears throat> Especially now with Nibiru here. Uh, the red crowned crane. It's the red star. Okay, the red crown. The red crown. You know, wormwoods here. There's something going to go on big. I feel it. It's big. And I saw all the. And what I'm gonna do is gonna do a video on the what I'm. Sh I'll show you what I see, and I know you'll see. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. And this is something we have to be prepared for. And I'm not saying that as a, any fear at all. Absolutely zero fear. Knowledge is power. It is a supernatural opening that's happening. It's a rainbow gateway as well. The swan. Swans mate for life. Coming together. We came in together. It's a time for us to ascend together. Swans mate forever. Hair. It's fertile. It's abundant. We come and see the poor. They're showing me today to show you behind. There's more going on than meets the eye behind the scenes. Portal, gateway, wolf. Wolf. Authenticity. Seeing through. That, starting to see things clearer all around you. Mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. They're saying... You're having an awakening. The peacock, the third eye is awake. This dude looks like Bill Belichick from the Patriots. I'm just saying, okay? <laughs> anyway, you're being, yeah, you, you're going through um, seeing things sharper through your third eye. Trust in spirit around you. Your, you, 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 your higher self around you. Taking off those masks. Masks. Something is coming. Something is here. But something more is to be revealed. <sighs> so
so um, I just pulled the decks I was guided to pull, which are the Sacred Ancient Wisdom Oracle, and I think that's what actually I was guided to focus on is the Ancient Wisdom because it's here. That wisdom is here now. And um, a few other decks that I use for these. And some decks for bringing emotion. So we'll see where this brings us. Okay, thank you for watching and hanging with me. I truly appreciate it. Um, if you want to give it a thumbs up and do an energy share, I would truly be grateful for that too because it helps me fe um, tap in even further. Um, you know, it's a give and give. Yeah, see the, the Christ Merkaba. This is the time we're entering. The Christ Merkaba, the king, and I've been picking up on a king for a while in Buddha. Getting into that Buddha or high, something of most high maybe here as well. Okay, I'm just going to say that. Take that how you want. Something, of, Someone of the most high is here. It's the Merkaba. The Merkaba, the path, it's opening. It's a veil that's opening. The Christ consciousness is awakening. The crown, okay, the crown chakra, they're telling me. The crown chakra, the awakening, is happening. It's a, like a Buddha, like how Buddha is for us. It's like a Buddha awakening, awakening to a peace and a love to know that that is here. We have divine love here. And what's been in the way is a lot of Luciferian energy, and that's here as well too, okay? From the skies, these storms, they use the weather to come in. They use the clouds, they use the weather to come in. And we are in this time right now, revelations that this is going on breakdown of the matrix AI you know or genuine love the jack of the light yeah the all-seeing eye we've been watched for so long it's like a new magician is in town a mentor somebody different maverick apprentice professional yeah things are not those those what you think are what you are not okay they look like this okay but then they're really that underneath okay you know what i'm saying pay attention to the television and your newscasters things like that because this stuff goes on all that weirdness okay that's very telling it's a wake-up call so we definitely have luciferian energy we have christ um, energy as well, Christ the King, the aw awakening of the Merkaba, to the highest, most high. And we also have, you know, you can't have dark without light, evidently, the, you know, the divine contract connections as well coming together, absolutely, and there are, they are coming together. That's the divine ultimate contract, because it aligned with the Christ consciousness to help bring this in, and, um, wake up those more to this energy as well and that's I don't know what I saw you know in the sky supernaturally I don't even know you know what I'm saying there's there's things that would shock you really and um, this is going to be a shock to a lot of people This is a uh, homo uh, sporadus. The Darwin missing link. The missing link is appearing, evolving without any evidence of this artifact. It, in fact, many would argue that a cosmic connection is a far more plausible missing link from our history as modern day homeo, um, homeo sapiens. Still many more, and I was just saying that, wow. Still many more of us truth seekers propose digging even deeper. Yep, absolutely. In, around, above, and between the many layers of our earthly experience. From the Antarctica to Zimbabwe, and I sent a friend of mine something about Antarctica the other day that's interesting, and it came up in my reading. Something's going to be revealed about Antarctica, I feel, I sense that. And um, this is this, the missing link is coming. The missing link is appearing to us. The missing link, the missing cosmic link. 
they'd kept us asleep for for so long. Divine love. Truly divine love. The ultimate power. It blows this guy right out of the water. And he comes from the ultimate love as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe he's going to take a leap of faith. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to get some water. Stay in our faith. We're being very much guided to clearly stay in our faith. But we do have energies here that um, aren't of, of light. I'm not going to lie. You know, I'm not saying that to freak you out or anything. Just it's the truth. And nor do I ever wish that. But, you know, God is cleaning house right now. Absolutely. God is cleaning house. And things will get exposed. You know, you have to kick the dirt up a little bit before you can get it clean. That kind of energy. So, we are being truly guided to stay in our faith. And we're going to be woken up to a hold that wasn't what we thought it was kind of thing. I don't know. Maybe maybe not for some, but I'm just picking up this from here. Okay. And I can honestly say all this because when one wakes up and I wasn't like I I shot up out of bed, but I wasn't awake. I sat right up. I put my feet right on the floor and I said Anubis is here. And I went to my front door, like I was ex opened it up expecting to see Anubis and it was all this fog. And I did a video on it because it just was so real. And I really feel at that moment for some reason I was Isis because Isis had found Osiris and Anubis was here. Anubis could, do, you know, if you know the story of Anubis and he's been demonized and he shouldn't be in all honesty at all. You know, it's not when you get to a higher... I don't know, a vibration of things. It's not what you think it is at the same time. Everything is upside down. It just is, okay? But use your own discernment on your journey. This is just something I'm telling you my experience about with this as a empath um, sensitive here, okay? It's an angel child. Um, so something, and then I heard Osiris returns um, on Isis's wings. I don't think like that. I would never be able to come up with that. You know what I mean? So, like, to hear that was, there is more going on. There's just more going on. And, I mean, I love reading for love because it's all about love. But, like, I seek truth as much as, as the esoteric field will give us to be able to handle. I do. I know I can feel it coming. And, and, and I... I trust completely. I also seek guidance at the same time. And others are as well. 1313 when I said that, which is 44, which is union. With the archangels. All right, let's get into this. First responders, they know what's going on. These guys know what's going on, okay? They know that this is coming, okay? And then guess who else is coming, okay? God. The spot, the reignite the star, or the sun, to reignite the sun, the return of the sun of, of God. That's happening. We're in this, like, we're in this stuff right here with Shiva, okay? Trickster energy, not, no diss on, no diss on Shiva, that's not what I'm doing. We have portals and realms opening up around us, and they've been trying to hide it, which would be trickster energy. That's really happening, okay? And we are crusaders, and we are seeing through this. There's many groups of souls here, star seeds. <laughs> We're the pioneers. But yeah, so Shiva is just, she changes energy, you know? It's not good or bad. She just does what she does. She changes energy, and this is about the sun. See the portal, okay? Whatever that is, whether it's a... A, a machine. I don't know what the sun is sometimes anymore. I'm not going to lie. I don't know. I've had visions of, swear to God, two ships, like, bigger than your mind can even imagine to make something look like a sun, okay, right next to each other. So it was two suns, and one lifted off and flew away, and the other one, it was like, 
it made you go, oh my God, is our son a ship? You know, again, I wouldn't think of these things. So this is how I know my guys are telling me. They're, 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 they're really giving me a heads up on son. Not all is what it seems here. Something has changed here. And then I remembered Metatron's card in the deck for Gaia. And I'll show you. This is to restore a balance here that we weren't even aware of. And some of us are truly waking up to it. It's, it's, free. it's just, um, yeah. Um, all right, show me Gaia. I feel like we've been moved. See how there's the box there? I feel like that. And I don't care how crazy that sounds. I feel that. Because of these two sons. These two sons. The rainbow light is here. To expose in the in the diamond. Okay, come on, show me. That we're in some kind of box. This is what came to me the other night. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. It feels that way. And this light is here to expose that. We've been moved. And I even did a vlog on it almost a year ago about that show, movie, Star Trek, the one where uh, Captain Picard, they go to this planet because there was, a, I don't know, some kind of call put out. Um, and they were all so young and beautiful and that just the planet kept them that way. And these other um, entities, energies wanted the planet because they looked so they would they were icky, you know, and they wanted to be beautiful. So they were preparing a um, a holodeck for them. They were gonna transport all of them while they were sleeping. They were gonna put them to sleep and move them and move them, thinking they were one place and they're not. And all that's being shed on. I really feel that. I could be totally wrong, too, but I don't know where that's coming from. I couldn't come up with that to say, <laughs> you know, there's something about this. It's the sun. Maybe it's the energy of the sun. I don't know. I don't know. But that's what I've been really picking up on. And, and this, the cards back it up. So it's not like I could, I could never come up with this stuff ever in a million years on my own is my point and something really big is going down it is Ra um, Isis Osiris there's all the ancient ones and I keep even saying that at all and I don't purposely say that in my videos either to go the ancient ones are here it's like my soul just says it I know something I'm in the knowing of something really big and I don't even know what it is if that even makes any sense at all but I'm getting bits and pieces of it like a puzzle and here I am sharing it with you because I feel like there's some of you out there that are probably maybe hopefully going through the same thing I am too. And these readings help me. And I hope they help you. Because something, yeah, something, a leap of faith for us. A leap of faith. A leap of faith. It's going to be a huge leap of faith. Because of these guys. We're going to see something about them. We are. Something's going to get, something is going to get opened about that. Something's going to come to light about all that. I have an idea, but I'm not going to say it because each person has to wake up to that on their own. That's how I feel about that. That's what God tells me, so I listen. Yeah, the homeo luminous. You're going to get illuminated here, Archangel Michael. You're going to get illuminated about this. You're going to get illuminated. We as being, you know, the world is going to get illuminated by that. Integral philosopher. It's going to be something different. I don't know what this is saying. I'm trying here. I have an idea. Let me turn on the light. I have a feeling that this, well, that this whole structure we're on or in or I don't know. So many interesting subjects to study, master, and simply touch upon. More we read, observe, experience, and explore the more, ha more harvest in intelligence that informs our integral philosopher. The integral theory of Ken Wilber presents a powerful exploration into a container. Wow, that's wild. Where the advent of the in 
internet and personal computers we have at our fingertips. If it, if not all the information known to mankind, some true, some false, the preponderance somewhere in between, the in-between. All of it is utterly useless without the discerning wisdom of the integral, integral philosopher. In this moment, take inventory of any subjects, talents, and skills where you feel a depth of knowledge of expertise. How does this um, breadth of knowledge shape your unique perspective? Does it limit your openness to new ideas, or does it sharpen and broaden your capacity to discern and integrate new ideas? How do you weave data information into a unique perspective? The world needs every one of us to be in our integral philosopher's genius. How are you expressing the integral philosopher through your words and actions? What have you written and performed? Okay. Container. That just, I don't know, that blew my mind. And we have archangels here, and the archangels are here. They really are. They're part of us. They're connected to us. They're absolutely connected to us. We're not separate from them. They're interdimensional oversouls who bless various activities of human life. Many religious traditions, high order angels, close attendance with God ranking above ordinary angels. In some traditions, archangels are the elemental guardians over the directions found in the east, west, north, and south. In the above, the below, the within, and without. Some believe in those guardian angels who are of our um, beck and call, yet go underutilized because we remain oblivious to their presence. Uh, desensitized by our culture, superstition, and arrogance. Angels of all description, many provide guidance, intuitive feedback, coincidental phenomena, archetype role modeling. They might show up in a dream, radiant with glory, to bring us a message. They may reveal through a stranger on the street with some, yeah, they work through people, places, and things. Life-changing words, ideas, thoughts resonate deep within your being, never to be seen again. Archangels bring forth mythical, mythical wisdom, guidance, counsel, lessons, and further lessons um, of the thong. They may even have a hand, hand in manifesting our every need, want, desire for our greatest, not always the most comfortable, good. Archangels are here. That's why we are shifting and changing. Okay, I know I had a water. We are shifting and changing because they are one with us. We are with them. There is no separation. They're right here with us. I think I just said that in a video too. That they're right here with us. I try to let everybody know. Talk to your angels. They're right there next to you. Just because you can't see them does not mean they are not there. They want to talk to you. You have to invite them in on your journey of the highest, most high. And they will be very excited. They like that. They like to be a part of they want to know that you can hear them too. All right, let's get some tarot on this. This energy that's here. All right. Turn a huge rumble. It's like this the calm before the storm. I can't quite explain what I'm feeling, but I feel it. Angel Michael through the Bible group. Michael, you're both my brother, Metatron. Thank you. You seek guidance and direction through the divine love and the divine light. You create a source of all that is through our galactic families, through the galactic divine light. How to guide us through what's to come for us within the next month, for the month of September, the Virgo season. How about that? The Virgo season. What's to come through the Virgo season for the Star Seed Collective? Ace of Cups. Abundant love. Universal love. The gift, Ten of Cups to the Seven of Swords, okay, let's see where this goes, 
the wheel destinies here. Some of you may feel like you got betrayed. It's put you in this really stressful emotional state. going to be an eclipse because we go from the ace of cups and then this eclipse seven of swords of darkness to the wheel faded it's a faded eclipse it's a destined eclipse it's a destined eclipse queen of cups <laughs> excuse me yeah she's sitting in water Water, ocean, water, something about worldly waters, okay? Yeah, I have to bring it there. That's what I'm feeling. The ocean, definitely, because of this card. I mean, the seagulls are there. Rough scenes, emotions, rough emotions, stress, anxiety over something you can't see yet, or we feel, but we can't see yet. Take that how that works in your story, okay? But I've been picking up on worldly as well. It's Ace of Cups. I love when you guys do that. Can I just keep saying that? Yeah, the world upside down. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Huh. <laughs> okay. I'm taking that that way too. The world upside down. King of Wands. Look at the ancient ones on these cards. I didn't even know that they were like this. Look at this. The world upside down. They're the ancient ones. The ancient ones. The hanged man. The ancient ones. Ra. Because of Ra. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Flip. The world. Ra. The sun. The sun. Hanged man. Yes, I have to. I have to. I can't not bring it there. That's that's right there. Look at that. Ra. The world upside down. Ra. Hanged man. The ancient energy. Judgment. King of swords. Judgment. <sighs> Whoa, okay. Strength. Heartbreak, three of swords with the nine of wands, fire. I mean, the nine of wands is like that, you know, the overcoming battles. The world flipped. The world's flipping. Flipped, flipping, I don't know. How have the poles, magnetic frequency, flip. I don't know how that works, but um, the wheel is here. Ra is here. The world upside down. Destiny has stepped in to turn this this way. To turn this this way. Because of Ra. Ra is here. <clears throat> yeah, I'm bringing it there. It's the ancient reading, ancient energy. Ra is here. A judgment upon. Revelations, a judgment upon. The hanged man. Pause. Pause. Be still. Even while the fire burns. This some kind of. This is to me. I see this worldly, and I do. This this the, the ancient ones. I mean that I had no idea that these kind. This is this is awesome. And the name of these cards are apocalyptic, I believe. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. A new dawn. A new dawn. A new dawn is coming. There's an eclipse happening, which would be darkness, and that came up earlier in these cards. The darkness is upon us. I mean, you can take it or leave it. Uh, you know, this is for entertainment purposes only. Absolutely for entertainment purposes only. Ace of Pentacles for a new, yeah, the golden time, the golden age, the golden ones. Um, it's the promise. With the Messiah, or you know, Ra, the sun, the eclipse, 
the in between, the in between, the in between. Okay, what's coming in the in between? The world upside down. Why is the world upside down? Flipped. It's flipped. Because of these ancient energies that are here. They bring in a huge magnet. Let me tell you, the the um, the red dwarf star, the black star, is a magnet. We're a magnet. And our sun is a magnet. And um, it's pulling on us. And that, that's real. That's scientifically proven. And... Um, Mother's been fighting her, this magnet oh, off, pushing away and pushing away. That's why she's heating up with earthquakes and um, volcanoes because she's pushing away from this, this big magnet. She doesn't want to go in its orbit. And this is what I'm speaking of. Our mother, of our planet is going through this right now. She's letting us know Ra is here, okay? Mother guy is letting you know Ra is here. And there's going to be uh, upside down. There's going to be an upside down. A night within a day, a day within a night, the in between. Because of the ancient ones. It is it is destiny. It's destiny for the ancient ones to return. This is about Nibiru. Absolutely. Okay. Guidance, be the light. This, we have guidance here for us. We have guidance. This that goes back to that Buddha card, going within your Buddha self. Security. Feeling secure in your environment. Confidence is key. Deeply intuitive, sensitive feeling, warm-hearted. Okay, these are temples. Find peace within your body. Go within, okay? The ancient ones, go within. Go within. Divine feminine. Divine feminine. With the onk. Purpose of life. You have so much to live for. Okay, a breath of life. The breath of God. The breath of God. A restoration of life. Look at this. I can't make this up. The scarab. A restoration of life. The, with the onk is the breath of God. A transportation. Because if this... It's a trans... It, it, I don't know. I had heard this might be a transport... Um, um, tool as well, but I know this is the breath of God. Maybe that's to transport the breath of God into how that's how we were, you know, created. But yeah, traditional family values grounded. Something's going to be really rocked about this, this Ra returning. You know, with Ra returning, a lot of people are going to be shocked, surprised. Probably every single one of us. I don't know, but. A lot of us have been feeling this coming. Tap, you know, all this, the scarabs, the ancient ones, the, the ancient um, energies. They've been reaching out to groups of us. Yeah, guarded. Walls are up, boundaries limited. Definitely. Helping hand. As above, so below. The veil being reflected. Worlds are being reflected within worlds. Yeah. Scorpio, mysterious, fierceness, intimidating. We might have things that try to intimidate us as well. The three of swords. I mean, the peace, the rose of peace. Peace must be brought on this land. Strength. To bring the peace to the eighth, because it's a, it's a, it's destiny. The Ace of Pentacles. It's destiny. Destiny was in here too as well. Um, all right, let me try this. Let me use this deck for this to see what else energy is. I mean, that's that's a significant. I think this is a significant message. You can take it this or how you want. You know what I'm saying? Um, I hope you see what I have shared. If not, that's okay. That's not an, for everybody reading. Um, but I really felt these energies to do a reading on them. 
um, because that's just what I do. You know, I see beyond the spectrum. And what I saw in those pictures <clears throat> today, the dove, yeah, peace, uh, ma'at, truth, the truth is gemet, healing, okay, transformation, <clears throat> truth, balance, um, king, bet, king of bet, mother mat. I know, I'm sorry, I'm not really good at pronouncing the, the alchemist. Wisdom keeper, grandmother, a, grand, a divine mother is here, a grandmother is here. I felt her yesterday. I've been feeling her. It might even be Sekhmet. I hope I said her name right. Sekhmet. I always say Sekhmet. I Sekhmet. Sekhmet. Ma'at. The dove. The peace. That's, yeah. Lunar energy. Divine timing. And then, um, blood mysteries at 18, which is a 9. These lunar changes are bringing in a change of wholeness, sacred's purpose, divine, divine parents, the world. 21, where did you go? The world is up right now. Divine parents are coming in. Divine parents, the world. That's, 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 a, I don't even know what to say. Like, wow, that's incredibly beautiful interesting that's really interesting really interesting okay let's look these up lunar energies Konsu is a lunar god Konsu is a lunar god who appears with with as many faces as the phases of the moon. Like the moon, he controls the tides and influences the weather. He is closely linked with Thoth, and like Thoth is seen as both the ibis and the baboon. Known as the wanderer, he is a protector of travelers in a measure of time. Konsu brings spiritual nourishment to our bodies and souls. He knows the exact timing in which we are ready to receive communion and eat the flesh of the gods so that we may become one of them. Konsu works on our behalf to fertilize our minds and hearts with the seeds of our own divinity. He engages the power of the moon to bring forth healing. Healing reigns that cleanse our old belief system and he renews our DNA at a cellular level. He governs the tides of the oceans and human emotions. Okay, so I'm really getting a lot of water, changes in the water, tides, storms, and our DNA, which came from the crossing of Christ, Wormwood, was RNA in the rains. Something on a DNA level is going to wake up for us that we just don't even know yet, you know? Maybe not, but I've been feeling that too, a sacred purpose for a sacred purpose because I believe in all that I truly do because my guides tell me and I trust them because they haven't been wrong when I put my own stuff in it I'm usually wrong but when my guides and I listen to creator I, my life goes smoother and better and then more things make sense to me because I'm not you know self will run riot nut and geb wholeness creation of sacred purpose nut and geb represent the result of paths dreaming Oh, Taz, P-T-A-H, Taz, I think that's how you say it, dreaming of the universe, at least in terms, at least in terms of the perspective of human consciousness. Nut is the night sky herself, the vault of stars that arches over the, and surrounds her lover, Geb, who was the earth, the original green man. The two exist eternally in sacred longing for one another. Merge into passion and intent, they form a sacred union of wholeness and co-creation. They are the parents of Isis, Osiris, Set, and um, Nymphthus, the elder Horus. In all physical form, all forms enter our three-dimensional earth plane reality through the por portal they create. Divine Mother, Divine Father. Oh. A big old mess here. World. The world is going to feel upside down. The divine parents, okay, that help. 
initiate us and birth us into sacred purpose as we spiral around the great wheel of life, death, and rebirth in our shama shamanic path toward embodiment of enlightened heart and mind. We are meant to awaken and remember our connection to the divine so that we become adult children of the gods and assume more responsibility in caring for our sacred planet Earth. We also inherit the powers of the ancient ones as we grow in their likeness. If you pull pulled this card, you have completed a great round of transformation in your life and you're ready to step out into the world with the sacred marriage. You contain the merging of the feminine and the masculine energies inside yourself and bring those fully balanced energies into your life and the lives of others. You may find yourself experiencing a deep sense of peace, well-being, as you remember that you are both human and divine. You are home both on earth and in the great star nation. Wow, that just hit my soul hard. The more you reflect upon this card, the more you will feel as though, sorry, as though um, you have come home. This is about feeling that home. It's been coming up in a few of my readings too. Feeling a home. We are so divine. And as I was reading this, it hit me. I'm like, oh my God. We are soul beings having a human experience at the same time. That's huge. I don't know. That is for me, realizing that. Like, wait, wait, wait. We're living two different things at the same time. Soul on a soul level and a human level. That That's powerful, I think. <clears throat> I, I believe that. I, I find some peace in this. Definitely. Sacred purpose. Entering the mystery. Dub came up again. I'm hoping this reading is uh, making sense to you. I do love to, to just letting my guides bring me there with the ancestor and energy that's in here and <clears throat> and help wake others that are really going through this too that are remembering about Ra and um, Osiris and Isis and just the ancient ones in general, the Anunnaki and uh, the Lyras and Orion Council of Light, things like that, you know. So um, I really appreciate you watching and and I hope this helped you in some way of where we are on our journey, you know, as a, as a soul group here, a soul, bunch of soul groups. We are coming into a huge change and shift on, on Earth. And it is giving us some anxiety. Sleepless nights, weird sleeping patterns. But we have divine security here, the Ankh. I mean, that's the divine protection, the breath of life, the scarab, the restoration of life, the divine feminine, the divine mother's here. I've been, like I said, I've been feeling her, a grandmother, a mother, absolutely. All right, anyway, I really love that you watch this, and um, I thank you very much. I hope this, like I said, I hope this made sense to you. Um, that was a lot, you know, a night within a day. It's a lot of information and, um, energy that just took to do all that. Let me get some guidance on, some mystical guidance for us as well to close this reading out. That was just like something just hit my soul. Like, yeah, I felt that one. I hope you did too. I hope this helps you awaken more to your fullest divine, yeah, manifestation. All right, to your truest divine potential. You're manifesting yourself through challenges as well. Maybe at this time, you know, some of you, you're figuring out different ways to get through these challenges that you used, than you used to do before because you're getting more enlightened. Yeah, manifestation came out. Attachment in the crown portal. Dragons. Dragons are key. An emergence, the promise, transformation. Wow. Yep, empowerment. <clears throat> okay, so there's definitely a divine connection. It's the promise. Accumulation, defensive, scarcity. Maybe a lot of us need to work on getting out of that scarcity energy and trusting more through our crown portal for this transformation because of the promise. It's a divine promise for divine contracts. 
and that's emerging. There's an energy shift bringing that in for the awakening, for the for unions to happen. Releasing, kind of, I guess there's some more releasing of attachments of the 3D world is going on at this time. <clears throat> that's why manifestation is here. To heighten that energy, to get out of that lower um, 3D um, getting more empowered, grounded, strengthened. You're getting more strong within yourself. Because, um, yeah, some of you're remembering the promise. Past life connections. We hold the key to this, too. We're connected to this. That's beautiful. The guardians are here. Yep, liberating. The guardians are here. Releasing. They're helping the rains. <clears throat> There's going to be more rains and more weather. Definitely, the guardians are here. They're very high vibrational energy. <clears throat> Excuse me. They affect our weather intensely. Okay? Liberating. And then the guardians. Through the moon, a phase of moons. And then releasing trusting spirit more, trusting how everything is going to unfold. It's for our highest good. You are divine love and you are divine light. You are divine source, creator of all that is, having a, 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 a temporary human experience here. You, you can manifest and co-create your life as well with creator source of all that is because you are not separated. You are divine love and you are divine light. There's no separation. That's all an illusion. Peace, love, and light.